I remember it being 1999, I'm 21 years old, I just got out of the army and I'm so broke, I mean I literally don't have a penny to myself to go to the gas station to fill up one gallon of my car. I have nothing going on, I'm looking for a job, I'm back in LA. And certain events took place, my dad had a heart attack, big heart attack that he had, he almost passed away and he didn't. And I had a very big emotional moment and one of the things that started happening was, everything in my mind became so urgent so urgent about getting rid of all the financial difficulties I was having in my life at that time. $49,000 in debt, credit card debt, all this other stuff that I had going on. And it was so strange because I had a group of friends that I was hanging out with and every time we would get together, whether it was Labor Day, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, MLK, no matter what it was, there was always a reason to have a barbecue and there were always excuses to not work. And it was so crazy to me because this is what I made a decision to do at that time. I said, why is it that we're doing a barbecue to bitch about your boss, to bitch about your job, to bitch about how difficult life is, to bitch about how you and your girlfriend are arguing over finances, to bitch about how much your mom and dad are bitching about money and finances and all this other stuff. And you want me to do a barbecue and hear all this crap? Why not freaking go sell something on Memorial Day? Let's go sell something on Labor Day. Let's go sell something on MLK Day. Let's go sell something like start a damn business. Why are we bitching so much about finances? You lose the right to bitch about finances if you want to freaking have a barbecue all the damn time. And I wonder sometimes when people call me and tell me, Papa, you don't understand. You know, I read this article that it's not healthy for you to not get a full nine hours of sleep because Huffington Post said this. So, screw all that crap. People have been working hard for a very long time. You know what's not healthy? Here's what's not healthy. Two out of three marriages end up out of divorce. Number one reason is finances. That is not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy when a 17, 18 year old kid that is purely intelligent, wants to go become a doctor, didn't end up getting a scholarship. Somebody didn't give him the scholarship for whatever reasons that he didn't get, but this kid could end up being a doctor. Mom and dad don't have the finances to send him to school. And it's not to say the government should pay for it. It's to say, mommy, daddy, instead of watching that damn show every night where you would come home at five o'clock, why don't you go sell something, mom? Why don't you go sell something, dad? Why don't you get to work? Why do you watch every single Laker game? Turn off the damn TV and watch that Yankees game or whatever you're watching. Turn it off. Go sell something, pops. Mom, go sell something. Travel so in. This is a very, very important message to uh, give you today because I, I just see... I am so sick and tired of people bitching about finances who only want to work nine to five. If you only want to work nine to five, stop complaining about your financial situation and do something about it. If it's Labor Day, go labor. If it's Memorial Day, go sell. It's not a reason to do barbecue. It's to recognize the people that died on that, that served for the country and died. MLK is for one man who had the courage to put his life on the line for a race, for a color. He did that. Do you think he was worried about a barbecue? No. And we celebrate MLK Day. It's not a day to do barbecue. It's a day for us to go out there and become free. For you to go out there and become free. And you may be watching this, you're not in America, you have no clue what Memorial Day, Labor Day, MLK Day is. But it matters that you go become free. So if you're having a barbecue and you're complaining about finances, zip it. Instead of the barbecue, pull a few friends aside and say, guys, why don't we start a business together? Why don't we start selling something together? Why don't we go win big for our families, man? You're sick of finances. I started talking about this language. Everybody starts saying, Pat, you're so weird. Man, it's Friday. We got to go to the club. Man, it's Saturday, bro. It's late. Everyone's at the beach at Venice and Zainab. Everyone's, I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to go hang out with a bunch of broke people at the beach. I don't want to do it. I want to own a private beach. I don't want to freaking party with everybody else that's struggling financially. And you know what the reality is? Neither do you. You don't. You think you were put on this planet to go out there and barbecue with all these other guys that are struggling financially and never fulfill your prophecy of doing something big with your life? I don't think so. Not you. So, instead of looking for reasons to do a barbecue and looking for excuses to not work, start looking for reasons to go sell something, to start a business, 
and figure out a way to get out of the financial difficulties that you and your families might be facing.